so we are going to take down my daughter's uh, locks they've been in braids for three weeks um i did a um a wash day uh three weeks ago we're trying to see we're trying to extend our wash days to be honest um because you know we're home it's quarantine um we don't necessarily need to be washing as often as i was uh washing which was um actually every two weeks so we tried to push it to three weeks and here we are this is the state of her hair in three weeks so i'm going to uh basically take these braids out and then we're going to demonstrate how we use the herbal shampoo bar stay tuned okay guys so this is how her hair is looking after i've taken out her braids so i've noticed that there is a bit of build up and so that's what i'm showing you there but it's more so lint build up because you know she is only nine and kids will be kids um you know at any given time she's either rolling in the carpet or if she's playing with her brothers you know she's just yeah <laughs> she's rolling in the carpet or she doesn't have her bonnet on so i'm gonna go in with my aloe vera spray and i'm just going to saturate her hair all right guys so i have to moisturize the little one's hair even though i've already washed and freshly retwisted his locks as soon as i bring out the spray or oil or anything he wants me to do his hair as well so that's me just kind of like appeasing him so back to my daughter's hair um i really enjoy using the diy aloe vera uh, spray because she does trouble with um dandruff and it's primarily around the crown of her hairline and it's just in the middle of her hair right here um, where I'm showing you that I'm about to put the oil. So I'm doing a pre-poo. And we used to do this a lot when we were loose naturals. Um, I haven't done it so much um, or so often when we transitioned over to having locks. But I found that um, after I had her hair in the braids, uh, they did feel a bit dry. So I wanted to obviously add back some moisture and so I am uh, doing this as a pre-poo and so I'll let this sit overnight so um, this is not my Ayurvedic uh, hair oil it's actually the very first hair oil that I made which was well over a year ago and this is really what we started off uh, using as as loose naturals and so it is still a herbal hair oil it's just not Ayurvedic so I will be releasing a video for that as well shortly but uh, yeah, so here I am just, again, <laughs> have to include the little one. So this is how my daughter's hair looks after I've um, both sprayed it with the aloe vera uh, oil or aloe vera water, sorry, um, mist, spray, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, after I've saturated her strands with the oil, I'm then going to just put a bag on it and leave it overnight. Uh, she usually sleeps with this and, you know, you can use a bag, you can use um, a shower cap, whatever it is that you have. So we're going to use a bag and then we'll let her stay overnight with this and we'll come back and show you how it looks. <laughs>
Okay guys, so now I'm going to go in with the apple cider vinegar uh, rinse and I'm using it in a spray bottle. And so I had to switch out the spray bottles because the other one failed me. The nozzle was clogged. So you want to make sure that you focus on the areas. For my daughter, it's the crown of her uh, hairline and it's the middle of her hair. So wherever you're having dandruff or any kind of itchiness or flakes, that's where you want to focus it on. So you want to rub it in and obviously massage it and then that will help to exfoliate the scalp. So once I'm satisfied that I've removed all of the buildup, I'm just going to continue massaging the hair or massaging the scalp and then we're going to get ready for our wash day. And so we will be using the herbal shampoo bar and I'll be sure to link the video for that one.
our final step of our wash day guys is I go back in with my aloe vera spray and I just add back the moisture that might have been lost from washing her hair and once I've done the spray I then use the oil and I start by actually squeezing the oil into the strands of her hair and that will add moisture back into her hair as well and then I'll go through and I'll pop her locks once more or basically just separate the roots just to make sure that they're not matting or sticking together. And you can see that I'm going to go in with the oil pretty much all over her hair. And I really do that to ensure that we don't have to have any issues of dryness um, when they uh, when the hair was initially in the braids. I kind of neglected to oil them um, and I mean I don't really oil them on a daily basis but at least I try to do it every one to two days however when I had them in the braids I thought oh no it was just sufficient enough to um, spray them which I do spray both of our hair daily and um, I just neglected to use the oil so when I do um, have the opportunity at wash day I'll basically go and I'll go through the strands and then I'll go row by row and i'll get her scalp as well so guys that's pretty much our full wash day i hope you guys have taken something away from this video and you can uh, use it in your own wash day let me know in the comments what um, you thought about this wash day i know it's been long overdue we're going on to eight months well actually we're eight months locked at this point and so this is what we've been doing and we've been loving it and um, again, we're on a no retwist challenge. I don't know if I mentioned that prior. I think maybe I mentioned it in the last video. So we're not doing a retwist. And after I've oiled and parted her, um, her parts, made sure that the uh, parts are clean, I just basically leave her hair as is. And then that's how we wear it. So until, of course, it's, it's time for the next wash day. So guys, thank you always for watching. We appreciate you. We thank you for your support. We um, welcome any positive feedback and we hope that everybody's keeping safe and doing well. And as always, stay safe, be safe, and we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.